So this video was inspired by my year 10 class. I recently taught them transformations and I realized a few of them were absent when I did teach um, enlargement. Okay, so I thought I'll do a video on enlargement by a scale factor of positive and negative numbers. So remember, in maths, enlargement does not just mean we're gonna make the shape bigger, we could also be making the shape smaller. Okay, don't forget, watch this video and hopefully you understand what it means to enlarge a shape from a center by a positive and a negative scale factor. Welcome to Nisi's Smart Solutions. So I've noticed that a lot of students do struggle with enlargement from a center, either by a positive, negative scale factor, whole numbers or fractions. And so I thought I should do a video on it. So I'm excited about this. Just make sure you don't have any issues again after watching this video. Okay. So when we are enlarging in maths, enlargement could mean increasing the size of the shape or decreasing the size of the shape. When we have a scale factor that is a whole number, the shape is going to be, of course, bigger. If we have a scale factor that is a unit fraction, by that I mean where we have one in the numerator of the fraction or a scale factor that is a decimal number between zero and one, we know the shape is going to shrink in size, okay? So just because he said enlargement does not mean our shape is going to get bigger by all means. Okay, that's the first thing we need to know. The next thing is when you're asked to enlarge, often in the higher GCSE and sometimes in the foundation, they'll give you a center of enlargement with often a dot like what we have here. We've got a dot here. So we're gonna use that to help us today. We want to enlarge this shape by a scale factor of two. So we're gonna look at the rectangle. Our scale factor is two. What that means is we're going to make this rectangle twice as big with the center as our reference point. Now what I always tell my students is your reference point is the center. That means we are from this point. This is what we're looking at from the center to a corner. Now we look for the nearest corner to the center. This corner here is nearer to the center. So I'll say from the center to that corner, I go down one square and I go to the left one square. Okay, now with a scale factor of two, instead of going down one square and going to the left one there, I'm gonna go twice the distance because scale factor two means we should multiply. Okay, so twice the distance means one, two and twice the distance that we want to. That puts this corner here. Okay, now just by getting that corner, we could be able to draw the shape. However, if for whatever reason you are not able to do that, again, go back to the center and compare it to the next corner that you want to locate. And by so doing, you'll be able to enlarge the shape. We're going to draw this shape twice as big, but that corner starts here. So from that corner, the shape went that way one square. So twice the distance, I'm going to have two squares that way. So I'll go that way. And then it went up one, two, three squares this way so i'll go up to uh, double the distance so that'll be six so that's one two three four five six there and i know i went twice one that way so i'm gonna go twice that way and i can see that my shape is enlarged and i can just get a ruler and a pencil make sure you use that to help me draw the shape i have enlarged the shape and i can see that my center is at the right place of the shape okay so this is a skill factor of two remember to start from the center to a corner now we're going to look at a case where the skill factor is a negative one so for example in this one i'm going to have a skill factor of minus two okay so we're going to have the blue triangle our skill factor is minus two okay so one minus simply means go in the opposite direction but because it says two twice the distance again our center is our reference point that's where we start from so we are gonna look at the center from the center to a corner 
so from this center i go down that way if i want to go to this corner and i go down that way one square so one that way and one that way now because the scale factor is minus two i'll go twice opposite the direction so i'll go one two there and then because i went to the left this way i'm gonna go to the right twice the distance one two there okay so that corner is now here what that means is that from that center if i went to go to this corner i go one that way and then one two three squares that way so i'm gonna go twice that way and then go six times the distance okay so i go one two three four five six okay and i can see the shape that way okay because i went up from there one two three i'll go down twice the distance so I'm gonna go down twice the distance that's one two three four five six there and i can see my shape right there and i can just join them okay so what happens with a negative scale factor is that number one the shape will flip and number two it will turn upside down so with a negative scale factor let's take note there number one the shape flips And number two, it turns upside down. So that's what happens. So you notice that with the negative scale factor, our shape flipped and then it turned upside down. Thank you. And hopefully you will not have any issues with enlarging shapes from the center. Hey, well done for staying tuned and watching this video. Now I know you've learned something about enlargement that you can actually enlarge a shape from a center whether the scale factor is a whole number or a negative number. Come on, let's go on to subscribe, like and share this video and also visit my website at ninsinsmathsolutions.co.uk Thank you.